I just want to ask you whether you think at this stage it's useful to try to figure out where this virus came from in terms of is it a, is it a Wuhan lab, is it not? What do you think of this call for an investigation, an independent investigation into the WHO and, 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 and the rest of it? The investigation of the response, I think, could be useful. I think the lesson over and over again when it, at, at the moment when it started to the response over the first few weeks to response today is that when you suppress truth, when you suppress the facts of what's happening with spread, it ends up harming life. It ends up making matters worse. And we keep seeming to have to relearn that over and over again. So the Secretary of, of Health, you know, the U.S. Uh, Secretary of, of Health and Human Services, um, Alex Azar, said to the Assembly, in an apparent attempt to conceal this outbreak, at least one member state made a mockery of their transparency obligations with tremendous cost for the entire world. You know, China was not named, um, you know, as, as a target of this investigation, but it's already, you know, fired back and said it's premature to immediately begin an investigation. Again, what do you think, when you look at this, when you've obviously done a huge amount of observation and research and you're now you know, in, in the mitigation phase in, in the hospital there, what do you think about its origin? Where do you think it started? Well, I don't think we have enough information about the origin. It's, it's, uh, it's clear it came from animals. I think the evidence is that it started in animal species, transferred to humans. There's a lot of inconsistencies about whether it emerged in a wet market or somewhere uh, else in the very, very beginning. Um, and understanding that and understanding where we went wrong in detection and how we could fix that's important. And then in the response as it spread, then the refusal of, of uh, the Chinese government in the, in the beginning and the WHO to recognize human to human transmission was occurring, really understanding why that happened. And then even to today, we still are in a phase where we are not always willing to bring the truth forward and allow public health authorities and, and clinicians to speak about what they see. So this is critical. 